It's Christmas! Hello Film Worlders, welcome to Premiere Prep. It is me, your host, Micah Pendleton. And yes, today is our 2015 Filmmaker's Christmas list. This Christmas list is not necessarily items that I personally have used or had a ton of experience with and all that kind of stuff. No, these are just items that I personally would love to have and I think you guys would as well. So let's go ahead and get on into it. The way this is gonna work is for each category, I'm gonna have a low-end and a high-end version. That way it fits a little bit of everybody's price range. So, first off is cameras. So the first of three camera categories is DSLR slash mirrorless. First up on the mirrorless list is the Panasonic G7. This comes in at just under $600 on BNH Photo and is a fantastic looking camera. This is the little brother to the GH4, which is highly respected and loved camera. This has a lot of the similar abilities that the GH4 has, but doesn't have a lot of the nice advanced professional kind of features that the GH4 does. It, it does 4K at 30 FPS. It has a micro four thirds lens mount, but so this is a great camera at just under $600. And on the slightly higher price end by a little bit, is the Sony A7S Mark II. It is available on B&H Photo for just under $3,000 to 998. And boy was this camera an exciting um, release because it was basically the Sony A7S, which lots of people loved, with internal 4K recording. It has amazing low light, a full frame sensor, the Sony lens mount system. It's just a highly loved camera and it looks absolutely amazing. So the Sony a7S Mark II is the last one on the mirrorless camera list. Now on to camcorders. This year we have a much better list than last year's camcorder list. The first one on the lower end is the Sony FDR AX33 coming in at under $900 on B&H Photo. $848 to be precise. This is a actually pretty good looking camcorder. Now it doesn't have a removable lens, which for people in the higher end area is kind of a disappointment. This would be a great option for somebody who just wants a camera and start filming their movie. And it shoots at 4K. I mean, just looks like a very fantastic little camcorder and just over $800. And again, links to everything that I'm mentioning down in the description. Next up on the list in the more higher price end category is the very, 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 very tempting looking camera that I am actually very, 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 again, tempted to probably start saving up for in the future. It might be a while, but in some time I'm thinking really about getting this camera. It is the JVC GY LS300. Amazing looking camcorder and you can get it for $3,495 on B&H Photo. It is a super 35 millimeter sensor. It shoots 4K. I, I, I really like this camera. I really do. But it is a great looking option. It has, um, it, with the new firmware upgrade that they released, which you can hear about in this Film World News episode, you can now shoot log video and all kinds of other really nice features. It has XLR mic inputs. It looks really, really amazing. And yes, it is definitely on my Christmas list. Next up is the kind of really dreamy section of this Christmas list, and that is the cinema cameras. First up is the Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini. This was released, I believe, at NAB this year. And it's an amazing looking camera at only $2,995 on B&H Photo. And yeah, th this one is a smaller and less 
robust version of the original Ursa, which a lot of people loved. Now do keep in mind though, if you go for this camera, it's going to require a lot of upgrades with your equipment. All right, but next up on the list is the Sony FS5. And it is available for $5,599 on Bean and H Photo. Amazing looking camera, and I, I, I love this, the looks of this camera. And something amazing about it is it shoots onto SD cards and stuff. <sighs> That's ridiculous. And it also has the Sony lens mount, which is ever growing. Uh, Sony, because of how many amazing cameras they've had lately, their lenses has, have also become very, very popular. So you're not gonna be hunger, you know, hungering for lenses in this area. And this one, while you will probably need to upgrade your desktop, besides the desktop, you're not really gonna have to be upgrading a whole lot of other stuff because it's very friendly with stuff that's already existing, which is kinda, I think, where Sony was going. They wanted to fit into an already working environment. Um, it has several XLR inputs, um, again, SD card. I mean, just fantastic looking camera. Uh, it has uh, S-Log on it, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, one, two, and three, I think. So, I mean, yes, amazing looking cinema camera from Sony. Uh, man, man, is it on this list, big time. Let's talk about shotgun microphones. All right, first up on the list is the Audio-Technica AT897. You can find this on Amazon for $249, and really is a great looking microphone. I already own an Audio-Technica microphone, which is the Audio-Technica ATR6550, and I have been thoroughly pleased with this mic for only $55. Yeah, so I'm very pleased with the Audio-Technica products, and I have no reason to believe that the AT897 would be any less of a deal. I mean, it's really, really good looking. So that is the lower end price. Now let's get into the more higher end microphone. I think we did this on last year's list, but I'm gonna say it again. We have the Rode NTG3, which is a $700 microphone or just under uh, at 69, uh, 699 on Amazon. I've worked with the uh, Rode NTG2, which is an even lesser quality microphone and the audio sounded great on that. Um, I've worked with it uh, relatively extensively actually and it had some pretty good sounding audio but the NTG3 is an even bigger upgrade. One little warning if you do end up getting it for Christmas, it needs phantom power. So you gotta make sure your camera and or audio recorder have phantom power. But it's an amazing looking microphone. And again, a link in the description to this product. Now let's get into some lighting kits. On the lower end we have, or the lower price end, this one's actually pretty high quality still. It is the Lemo Studio Video Studio 2400 watt softbox light kit. It is available on Amazon.com for $119.69. It has two standing softboxes plus a hair light softbox with the stands, the bulbs, the, bo the boxes themselves. I mean, everything. I mean, this is a full kit for only $119, well, $120. That's pretty good. This is what I actually want for Christmas. It's a very, very good, very, very good deal. Um, and if you're looking for a good lighting kit on the cheap or even in the expensive area, this kind of is good in between those two. So yes, the Limo Studio Softbox Light Kit definitely looks very good. On the more higher end price, we have the newer 900 watt light kit. It is available on Amazon.com for just under $360. And this looks like a very nice kit. I mean, it has a soft box and gels. A very nice, extensive looking kit for $360. And Newer is a very trusted brand and it just looks really good for $360. So if somebody wants to get this for you or if you want to get it for somebody else, this definitely seems like a good option. And now on to a slightly overlooked item or really one that people try to do too much of DIY with is green screens. They're really inexpensive and it's really nice to have a true green screen. The first one is kind of a get you started green screen from Green Screen Systems and it is a 5 by 7 Muslim green screen for $17.95. Uh, green Screen Systems is formerly TubeTape.net. Uh, I've got one of these green screens myself, it's actually a 10 by 12 and I love this thing. Really high quality, good thick fabric 
and for $20, that's not bad. So, I mean, this is a really great looking green screen for a really inexpensive amount of money. I mean, it would even be a good stocking stuffer, really. And now on the more expensive end is also from Green Screen Systems. It is a 10 by 20 muslin green screen for $69.95. It's really the same as the last green screen, just bigger. And it's a very nice, very big green screen. And really, I, I would say, based on my experience with these green screens, you really can't go wrong with them. I mean, it's just excellent green screens. Now on to what is actually our only software in this section, or in this list, is video editors. First up on the list is uh, the low priced item. Really, it's a no price item. You can actually get it, and it's a Christmas party to yourself from the guys over at Kden Live. Um, Kden Live is my preferred video editor. It is an excellent video editor for free, and it's just really great, and you would think you would pay a lot of money for this because it just does an absolutely phenomenal job. It's available on Linux and Mac, so if you're on either one of those systems, I highly recommend you go over and check it out. And it's what I use for all of my YouTube videos. Absolutely excellent. I love it. So it is free. Go check it out and link in the description to where you can download it. And in the higher price area, we have HitFilm 4. It is $349 and it's really an amazing piece of software. When HitFilm was first released, I played with a lot of the demos. I never bought it, unfortunately, because I, I was at the time I was very tight on money. And But now I'm on Linux, so I can't exactly purchase it for myself. And if, if it came on Linux, I can guarantee you I would buy it instantly. Next up in media storage, we have SD cards. And SD cards is something that almost everybody uses. On the lower price, we have the Sandisk Extreme Pro 32GB U3 Class 10 card. It comes in at $24.95 on Amazon. Amazing looking card. I've actually owned one of these. It's been misplaced as of recently, which I really need to find it. But excellent card, good read and write speeds. Uh, you can do 4K on this, really no problem. Um, although the capacity is maybe a little bit low for 4K, but you could still definitely get by with it. And I mean, it's just a great SD card and definitely a good option as a Christmas present. Now we have the more high priced uh, SD card and basically it's the same thing as the first one. SanDisk Extreme Pro 256 gigabyte U3 Class 10 card. It comes in at $149.99 on Amazon. And yes, it's the same thing as the last one, except at a much, much higher capacity. And man, would this be nice for 4K. You could record all day on this thing and still have space left over, I'm almost positive. I mean, this is one heck of a card. Last up on the list, we have what I am calling small items. They're really just miscellaneous items that I don't have two of each kind and would be great as uh, stocking stuffers or maybe even a main gift. First up we have Adorama Gaffer's Tape. Gaffer's Tape is something you see on every movie set and any movie set. It's the filmmaker's duct tape. It is a little bit different than duct tape, so it's actually nice to have some good Gaffer's Tape. It is $14.95 on Amazon and would be a great present for your filmmaker friend, son, daughter, whoever, nephew, me, I don't care. Just, it'd be a great thing for, uh, for Christmas. Next up, we have the JJC 12 card SD card case. You can get it on Amazon for $9.70. And boy, would this be an awesome gift because are you or somebody you know always losing SD cards? Like, I think I just mentioned that I lost one. Yeah, with an, with an SD card case like this, that is pretty much eliminated and it has a very high capacity for cards. I mean, 12 cards, that's pretty much every SD card you would really need. Uh, yes, it is a great item that anybody would love for Christmas, photographers and filmmakers alike. All right, so that rounds up the list. Thank you guys very much for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Well, I'll see you before New Year's. But Merry Christmas, guys. I'm your host, Micah Pendleton. Remember, dream big, pay small. Catch you next time.